I'm not concerned about that. He's only in his second year, for God's sakes. And you got he's a first-rounder, fifth-year option. So you get him for three years controlled. <laughs> he was just drafted last year, I thought. Yeah, and can we can we stop? Can we everybody stop with the the whole? Oh yeah, look, we're proving you wrong about Haha. Ha. Yeah, Haha ha has flashes. It does not mean that he's still going to be this all pro, all world player. Yeah, he's still the same player that I was saying he was before all this. And the in the interceptions he got are typical interceptions. They're terrible throwing balls where he didn't make a play and like jump around and like. Yeah, like he's any he t- so like it's just yeah. It just it's he's still the guy that we said he was. Just for everybody out there, it like that what's going on in his stats. It, no, you're not proving anything. In fact, you're just proving exactly what at least Dave and I and people that back our opinions are share them are saying. <laughs> He is what he is. He is what we thought we was. I'm going to tell you this right now. I watched I watched a little bit just because I was curious in comparison, right? And so I watched I watched both of last week uh, first quarter, right? Just of Mitch Trubisky and of Daniel Jones because Mitch is in his third year, second year of a very QB friendly system, right? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. No, I'm not even look, I'm not even talking about scheme here, dude. You know where I'm going with this. I'm talking mechanics. I'm talking mechanics. I don't give a shit about crossing routes or who can beat one on one or whatever the hell they're doing or who's got a better running back. I'm talking purely one is in his third year and has had three years, whether two years of one and one year another he's had three years of professional quarterback coaching. And the other one is in his, what, third game? Going into his third game starting? Okay? And I'm going to tell I'm going to... I'm going to tell you this right now. The tape don't lie. It's an indictment on Mr. Trubisky, what I saw. That a rookie QB that everybody said was a boss. Nobody talked... Here's the funnier, even funnier thing, right? I'm not going to claim that everybody was so high on Mitch Trubisky because a lot of people were not high on him. A lot of people were saying that he didn't have enough starts. But the people that did back him, backed him, there were people out there, had a lot of good things and even would throw the name of he has the potential and the talent similar to Aaron Rodgers. I heard that from people, right? No, you remember it, Dave. Come on, I know you do. Right? Okay, and then this past draft off season, I I it was hard to find anybody that would say anything nice about Daniel Jones. And yet when I watched the two on tape, I, they couldn't be further apart and and one is a freaking rookie. Like I'm not trying to be disparaging. I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything like that. 
I'm simply I'm simply I'm just telling you, I'm simply no, one came from Duke, one came from UNC. Like yeah. But but I'm I'm just saying like it is, it is just what the tape is. I'm not saying that you're not going to see him make mistakes or this or that. But the fact that Daniel Jones already has more consistent down in and down out play to play, more consistent footwork, and of course, it's not always perfect. I'm not saying that either. It's just I'm just trying to be honest here about what the tape says. It's not looking good for <laughs> for Mitch Trubisky at this point when you can take a rookie that nobody thought was going to be able to do crap and was ripping on Gettleman and everybody else that they even thought this kid would ever be able to take a snap and have a successful throw in the NFL, that his mechanics thus far are more consistent than somebody that's had three years of professional coaching. It is what it is. It has nothing to do with me being a Packer fan or him being a Bear. This, Honest to God, this is just... And I know other people out there that are smarter than I am that watch tape would tell you the same thing right now. It it makes it and I it makes it impressive for Daniel Jones because nobody thought a lot of people did not think this was going to happen with him. He's got a very good chance if he keeps it up to be pretty damn good just based on his mechanical consistency. Where I I don't know about Mitch anymore. And they got some tools, they got some weapons, and they're doing some things. I'm just saying. I I guess my point was more about Mitch. It's and the fact that uh, anyway, yeah. Sorry about that rabbit hole. I just wanted to make that point because that's been all over Twitter lately too, and I've been watching it. I was just gonna. Uh, I was just gonna say, Chase Daniel didn't. Okay, here here's the thing about Mitch, dude. He makes he makes he makes those throws where you're like, w- w- what was that? What was he doing? What, why why would he do that? Chase Daniels. Okay, Chase doesn't have the arm that Mitch does, but I'm gonna tell you this. What I've seen, he's more accurate. He makes better reads. He plays within he plays within the system and understands what he is and is not to supposed to be doing in in with down in and down out. I'm sorry like he might not be the athlete quote unquote that Mitch Trubisky is. He might not have the quote unquote arm talent that Mitch Trubisky does, but he's better everywhere else. <laughs> like <laughs> He's got deep ball arm talent. You know, you're doing your Stafford thing, dude. He does throw a night. He does throw. Yes, dude. He, I'm not saying about accuracy. I'm talking about arm talent. He is. He has deep ball arm talent. Like he has the arm, the arm velocity to throw the ball, and he has, it's, it looks nice going through the air. He does have arm talent. Stop being like overly mean sometimes, Dave. Like. 
if there's critical and you are overly mean. You just like everybody that's a bust has just got noodle arm. He does do that, doesn't he, Dylan? He does. Arm talent is not accuracy. Accuracy is about mechanics, man. Arm talent. Yeah, he had arm talent. He didn't have great mechanics, which means that's why he wasn't accurate. Dude, you can, I can throw a ball 70 yards. I can't drop it into a freaking toe. Even with good, I just can't do it because I'm able to get it 50, 60, 70 yards. It takes my little five foot eight body contorting in ways that are not going to allow me to be accurate. I have arm talent, okay? No, I have, I have arm talent. Now, I don't have proper mechanics, and therefore, I'm never going to be accurate doing it. Now, you ask me to throw a 45 or 50-yard ball, I can do that accurately. Just to chuck it as far as I can, show off my arm strength, that's totally different. Totally different. That's arm talent. Mechanics is what brings you accuracy. <laughs> You're going to see me, it's going to look like a shot put, and I'll probably fall over. Right now. 